Hello learners. Today, let's talk about what is a Google Cloud Lending Zone along with a reference architecture. A Google Cloud Lending Zone is a blueprint for building a house in the cloud. Just like how you need a plan and foundation before building a house. You need a plan and foundation before building your applications and services on GCP. A landing zone is essentially a set of practices, tools, and architecture that helps you set up a secure, scalable, and well-organized environment in GCP. It helps you to quickly spin up your GCP resources with minimal effort and also makes it easy for you to manage and govern your resources. Think of, think of it like a, an instruction manual for creating a cloud environment that fits your specific needs. For example, if you need to build a cloud-based website, a landing zone would help you to set up the necessary servers, uh, databases, and networking infrastructure in a way that is easy to manage and maintain and also ensures that your website is highly available and scalable. It is like building a castle in the clouds where you get to decide the layout, the design and the infrastructure and GCP landing zone gives you the blueprint to build it in a secure, structured and efficient way. Okay, now let's this, uh, take this example. This example architecture is uh, in, a, in a diagram shows a Google Cloud landing zone that includes the following Google Cloud services and features. First, Google Cloud Resource Manager, which is used to define a resource hierarchy with organizational policies. The other one is Google Cloud Identity. It's used to synchronize with the on-premises identity service providers and IAM, Identity and Access Management, providing granular access to Google Cloud resources. The network deployment includes shared VPC, so a shared virtual private cloud network for each environment, production, development, and testing that connects resources from multiple projects to the host VPC network. VPC firewall rules that control connectivity to and from workloads in the shared VPC networks. CloudNet Gateway which allows outbound connections to the internet from resources in these networks without external IP addresses. Cloud interconnects, which connects on-premises applications and users. Alternatively, you can choose dedicated interconnect or pattern interconnect. Cloud VPN, which connects other cloud service providers. Cloud DNS private zone, which hosts DNS records for your deployment in Google Cloud. Multiple service projects are deployed in shared VPC pro networks. These service projects host your application resources. Now coming to, to the operation suite. So operation suite like Google Cloud monitoring for application monitoring, Cloud logging for log collection, cloud audit logs, firewall rules logging, and VPC flow logs, which help ensure all necessary data is logged and available for analysis. The last one would be the security services, like VPC service control perimeter for each environment. That includes shared VPC and the on-premises environment.
a security parameter isolates services and resources which helps improve your ability to mitigate the risk of data exfiltration from supported Google Cloud services. It's important to note that the diagram is only an example and there is no single or standard implementation for a landing zone. Your business makes a business must make uh, many design choices depending on different factors which includes your industry its uh, organizational structure and the processes security and compliance requirements the workloads that you want to move to the cloud your existing it infrastructure and other cloud environments the location of your business and customers it's also recommended to have a well defined strategy for your landing zone based on your organization specific needs and requirements. In summary, Google Cloud Landing Zone is a pre-configured set of infrastructure and platform resources that are ready to use in the Google Cloud platform. It helps organizations to quickly set up a secure and compliant environment for their workloads in GCP. And it also helps organizations to manage and govern their resources in GCP. Thanks for listening. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more about Google Cloud.